Today's topic is classical optical illusion caused by depth perception. There are many classical illusion pictures. Most of them are 2D pictures. But uh, some of them, are <coughs> when we see them, we perceive the depth and that's the reason why the illusion occurs. There are many examples, and so I will show typical of them. The first example is the Kanitsa's subjective contour. When we see these pictures, we feel that there is a white triangle in front of other figures. Uh, although the white triangle is not too long, but we feel that there is some um, contour lines here. This line is called the uh, subjective contour. And this illusion happens because we feel that the, there is a white um, triangle in front of other figures. And actually, if we have that triangle, we have the same picture. Meaning that here we have um, the same pattern as Kanitsa subject contour figure, but here we have real um, triangle, white triangle here. And if we remove it, we have these figures. And when we see these figures, um, if the white triangle is not here, then it's very um, accidental, meaning that uh, this line and this line and this point and this point are collinear, which may not happen in general situations uh, unless we interpret that there is a white something with the edge along here. So the Kanitsa subject contour illusion uh, occurs when we consider a plural object one is above the other. This is a typical example of <coughs> the 2D illusion caused by 3D interpretation. The next example <coughs> is a brightness illusion. This is called Ederson's con corrugated Mondrian figure. Here <coughs> we have some figures and many uh, small regions and when we compare this region and this regions we usually feel this is uh, more close to black than this one. Both are gray colored but this gray is closer to black than this gray. However, these two grays are the same color. When we place this object we might uh, <coughs> understand that the two regions have the same color. But when we remove it, uh, we perceive this is darker than this one. And <coughs> this illusion is caused because we feel that this is not a flat um, pattern, but the, <coughs> the checkerboard pattern is uh, painted on a three-dimensional surface and this is uh, nearer to the <coughs> viewer and this plate faces upward and this plate faces downward because we usually uh, have an illumination condition that the illumination is <coughs> given from above and so the plates facing upward uh, are more brighter than the face um, on the surface facing downward and so we <coughs> our brains interpret the uh, apparent um, uh, given gray levels uh, considering the direction of the face 
And so we feel that this is like more close to white than this one. And actually, if we make the 3D structure like that, then uh, here we have, <coughs> mm, yes, checkerboard pattern. But uh, this face looks, uh, faces long, this plate faces downward. And so they illuminated less than the other plates. And so it uh, looks like darker. But when we know that uh, this uh, face is illuminated less than others, we can interpret the given brightness to the real brightness. And so we understand. In this case, this and this, we feel the same. And on the other hand, in this case, we feel this is more dark than this one. This is the uh, <coughs> reason why uh, this illusion occurs. The next example is a Ponzo illusion. Here we have <coughs> uh, two lines and <coughs> non-parallel lines and there are two more lines, horizontal lines. These two horizontal lines have the same length but uh, we feel this one is longer than this one. Uh, this is because we feel that these two slanted lines are something like the uh, side edge of the um, road. And so this is further than this part by which we <coughs> interpret that the, this is further than this one. And so the, we know that the further object appears smaller and so our planes <coughs> collect the size. Because of that, we feel that this is longer than this one. And uh, more direct illusion happens when we use real uh, photographs. Here we have the, these two lines um, of the pass. Uh, this is a uniform width, but this is wide, longer than this one in the picture plane. And so we feel that this is further than this part. When we place some object here and here, we feel that this is much larger than this. However, these two added pictures are the same in its size. And so the further part looks like larger is caused by the interpretation of the <coughs> 3D scene. Another example, here we have a dog and the same dog, copies of the same dog, if we place it here it becomes much larger. This is called the Corrida illusion and it is caused because we interpret that the, these goods are placed, some are placed in the very near part and some are placed in the very far part and our planes collect the size according to where, how far they are placed. The final example is this. It's called the shepherd illusion. Here we have two boxes and the top face of the two boxes are um, <coughs> parallelograms in this picture plane. And this parallelogram and this parallelogram are the same size and the same shape in the two-dimensional picture plane, but it's difficult to understand, to accept that. But we can prove. Here we have the <coughs> parallelogram, which is the top of the box of this yellow one. And when we 
move this to here it fits the top face of this box perfectly which means that these two parallelograms are the same in the 2D picture plane but we usually do not feel that because um, our planes interpret that they are the three-dimensional scene and we are looking at the top face of the two boxes in a slanted angle and so we interpret this 3D <coughs> structure because of that it's difficult to understand that these two parallelograms are the same In order to compare the 2D picture and the real 3D scene, let's take the picture of the two boxes of the same size in the 3D space. There are two boxes, they have the same size. And place it here and one more here. This is almost the same as a shepherd illusion pictures and uh, let's see how these two boxes are projected in the 2d picture plane this is a photograph of the actual 3d scene in which there are two boxes of the same size and when we see this picture we feel that the sizes of the two boxes are the same and the top face has the same uh, rectangular plate but if we compare these two uh, top faces in the two-dimensional space um, we, this is the uh, shape of this uh, <coughs> uh, top face and if we move it here we understand that uh, this is very different from the yellow face in 2D space but we feel that these two <coughs> faces are the same size, same shape this is uh, why our brains can interpret the 2D pictures of the 3D scene correctly and because of this fact, it's difficult for us to understand that these two parallelograms are the same in 2D picture plane. Actually, for our planes, uh, the important thing is the size and shape and the positions of these objects in the three-dimensional space and our brain usually do not care uh, whether they have the same shape in 2D space that's the reason why we feel um, <coughs> they are not the same let me show another example the shepherd uh, illusion here we have the two objects uh, standing on its side and yellow parallelogram and green parallelograms looks like very different from each other but in 2D space they are the same shape here we have a yellow uh, parallelograms and if we move it to here it match the green one but it's very difficult to understand that these two parallelograms are the same shape in the 2D space. Okay, this is a shepherd illusion. <coughs> so today I, sh I have shown several examples of the classical uh, optical illusion pictures in which the illusion are caused by our plane's interpretation of the scene as a three and the picture as a three-dimensional scene 
Now let me give a quiz at last. This is another example of the classical um, optical illusion object uh, picture. This is called the chevron picture. Uh, in this picture, we feel that the width of the light is smaller and it becomes wider and wider when we move to the left. But the width uh, is the same everywhere. And uh, <coughs> Is there any good um, reasons of this optical illusion when we consider the depth perception? That's the case. Thank you very much.